Daphne Galizia was not only admired as a redoubtable and truly independent journalist, she was beloved, of course, by her family and friends. And as Graham said, in the hours after she was murdered, there was a vigil for her. Luke Friendo was one of the organisers of it. He grew up with Daphne's sons and was devastated by her assassination. But everyone at the vigil, even people who'd never met Daphne, shared a sense of disbelief and shock. Very emotional. I mean, it was organised in the spur of the moment with two hours notice and um, I think it was it's an assault not just on, on a journalist or on a woman uh, or a person it was an assault on what I and many people here consider to be the fourth pillar of our democracy in, in many respects possibly the strongest pillar of our democracy um, to top it all off um, I'm a family friend uh, very good friends with her three sons. I've known them all my life. So there's a layer, that layer on top of it all as well, apart from the shock that everybody in general is experiencing. Yes, I can't even begin to imagine what you are going through, Daphne's family and friends. And, and this very personal event, this murder is also such a public thing too. So it's so declaratory. It's such a a very big statement designed to make a larger point too. Yeah, that's the most chilling part of it all. I think it was obviously very sadistic, sadistically premeditated and very cowardly and very devastating and very graphic and, and chilling. Chilling, really, is the only way I can describe it. What was she like, Luke, Daphne? That the sense I have of her, you know, from a long way away is a, a kind of force of nature, tenacity, and that she was utterly a journalist, utterly. Utterly, entirely. Um, I think a flame was sparked that was lit in her many, many, many years ago before I was born, and it just never left, never died out, and she was absolutely fearless. I don't know of another person as fearless as her. Um, she would have a, no qualms whatsoever at uncovering things which were unjust and were wrong, even if it meant um, putting her at risk or making life very uncomfortable for her and her family at times. She was, she was the most fearless person I have ever, I've ever known. And that fearlessness was passed on to her, her children and, and mainly her son, Matthew. That's Luke Frinder talking about Daphne Galizia, who he has known all his life, who was killed, assassinated in Malta today.